I just got done filming this video and I, for, I just realized I didn't credit any. I was inspired by Alexandra and Becky Loves Kanga created this project. So I will have them linked down below as always. Emily and Sarah are also doing this project so I will have them too. Enjoy the video. <laughs> So welcome back to my channel today we're going to do an update for my whole collection project pan i have one empty to show you guys and then i have some really really nice progress some of the progress i'm really surprised about and then i do have some items or products that i don't have any progress on which is sad but that's just how it is right now. <laughs> so the empty for this update is my elf lipstick in fairy fuchsia I am so excited for this to be done. I think it has melted a little bit because in my empties video there wasn't this hole. But that just shows you it is completely done. This was an amazing color and I loved it so much. It matched every eye look that I was doing. And especially the orange covery look that I am panning. I really miss this lipstick. It is, It was so nice. So... I'm going to choose a new product for this and I'm really really excited about it and then I'm going to show you some of the other progress. What was that? I don't know. Let's get these two out of the way. I have not used them. The first one is the NYX eyeliner in Aqua Green and then my Metallic Matte lipstick in Neptune. Well, I did wear this once or twice in some videos but there are no progress to show you guys on the paper. Last time I chose a, or I got an eyeshadow from this palette. It is the W7 Enchanted palette. And I got Mystical. As you can see, there are some wear on it now. So you can definitely see that I've used it. There are no dip or anything yet, but that is definitely my goal. I think I can do it. It will take some time because I don't remember every morning to use it, you know. Let's take my blush. It is the Balm Fred Boy blush. And I have the biggest dip ever. I'm so sad that I don't have pan yet. I have used it a few times as eyeshadow and so on. So I can maybe hit pan soon. <sighs> I, I don't know. I don't want to give up because I love this blush so much. But... I will be very very happy when I hit pan on this because then I can work on something else in my collection and then sometime many years I can use this up. Maybe it is going faster when I um when I hit pan because this dip is so big. There's a Nick Get Gorgeous Highlighter. I use this highlighter when I have some more cooler tones. For example, when I do green or purple, I use this highlighter. Otherwise, I just do use the Frank highlighter that I um, that I have in my 19 and 19. When I use this highlighter, I focus my brush right here on the place where I scraped uh, a little bit out. So maybe you can see there, it is a dent. And then I also collect when it gets in the, the ruffle pan, you know. So maybe you can see some progress on the picture. Maybe you can't because I haven't used this portion. But I really want to clear out this small bit down here. And I think that is a lefty goal, high goal, ambitious goal. But I don't know what I can do about this because the pattern is so wavy and bumpy. I don't know. I don't know about this. There are 12 grams in this product so and it's baked so it takes forever. I'm working on it and I love it so much. It is beautiful. The single shadow that I'm working on is a white one from Catrice. This is the pan right now. I am so excited. I use it every single time I use my makeup. Um, except when I use my 2x1 palette. Then I use this on my brow bone to highlight. I love this shadow so much. So I have no struggle to use this. It will be a while before it is used up. Because that is my goal. I want to finish it. I'm enjoying it. It's so good. Mm, yeah. Let's take this one. This is the eyeshadow from Neil Shaw. It is like a cream to powder eyeshadow. I don't know how I feel about this actually. 
it's not shimmery or something it, it has a sheen so you can say it's a satin finish I enjoy my metallics and so this is really hard for me to wear on its own on my eyelid I have tried to use it as a base for some other shadows because I like to use my cream shadows as a base uh, for other shadows to stick on to and be more bam you know this does not work that way so I struggle a little bit but my goal is to have a dip and I think I'm on my way to have a dip or something but I have been playing around with it and I'm still making up my mind but sadly it is more negative than positive at this moment then we have my W7 hologram eyeshadow stick it is a 3D eyeshadow stick it is this kind of stick right here I have it in my inner corners I love it for that apparently I have not been very good at remembering it but then I just apply it later in the day when I get home from work I don't work anymore though but I have made a new mark and I'm excited about it that is my goal line so I'm right there at the number four it is going down so maybe in two to three months I will hit my goal and then we can pick a new product for that. Then we have the lip primer from W7. I am so close at hitting my goal. So for next update, this will definitely um, be done, you know, so I can randomize a new product for this and take a break. Something happened. I don't know what. Maybe I dropped it or something, but the product came loose. So I can, I can scroll it all the way up. And it's not because of that it broke. Um, not that I know of at least. I'm sad because it makes it a little bit more uh, difficult to use this. At least when you get down there it will be hard to use but it's fine for now. That is how much I need to finish my goal. That is insane how much I have used it the last month or so. I'm excited. I don't know what to say other than that that I'm really really excited about choosing a new product really soon for that but for now I am going to choose a new product for the e.l.f. lipstick because I have been very good at using up stuff lately um, I have been cleaning in my spreadsheet and I am down some numbers which is exciting so I am going to randomize 1, 2, 352 last time it was 63 or something so I have pretty random right here and 1, 2, 352. So I'm going to randomize the product. If I can. And 97. Let's see if I'm as picky as I was last time. A little bit. <laughs> it's a blush. Um, mm, 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 mm. Maybe. I don't know. Let me try a new one, because I'm already working on a blush in this project. 317. Yeah, that's a lipstick. Maybe, maybe it's actually a good lipstick to pan because it's a nude lipstick, so maybe it can be instead of this. If I remember right, it's not as warm tone, but let me get that. It is a W7. Naughty Nudes Lipstick in Sunshine. Well, it's a cool toned lipstick. Of course it is. So the packaging is looking like this and as I said it is the W7 Naughty Nudes Lipstick in Sunshine. I don't think there's any sunshine over this lipstick. I have used it a few times. It is this color right here. It is a cool toned mauve shade. I haven't worn down the W7 mark yet but it's a nice color it's a matte so it's a little bit drier but that is the shade right there I think it's a beautiful shade and I'm really excited to be working on it actually um maybe it can be my everyday shade I wish it was warmer but mm, I think I can make it work just that swatch was very easy to wear down the print you know I will mark it on my paper and then I will write in the description box what my goal 
is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a like, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on the next video or update on this project. I do a lot of project pans so you won't get bored if you love those. I do palette bingos and empties and stuff like that on my channel as well. And until my next video, please take care. Bye! Thank you.